Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be playing with our smoke tissue again. We're going to be doing a pork loin, okay? So we got a nice size pork loin here. I'm going to bring you a little bit closer so you can check it out. But we have our Rec Tech Mini here all fired up and she's percolating. And you know, like I mentioned before, make sure you turn your smokers, your grills, or whatever you're cooking on, on. Um, Make sure you start them up at least an hour, 45 minutes to an hour before you get ready to go ahead and cook. That way your chamber and your cooker will stabilize and level off and you won't have so many fluctuations. Now this is going to be a quick cook, probably a couple of hours because we're only going to be taking this uh, pork loin up to 145 degrees internal temperature, okay? So we don't want to dry it out. So hopefully we can hit our target mark, okay? So come on close, let me let you check out the pork loin, let you see what we seasoned it with, and let's go ahead and get that bad boy on the Rec Tech. Okay guys, so here's our pork loin, and I'll put the size of the pork loin up here on the screen, but as you can see, uh, we cleaned it off already, we took off all the silver skin, we took off any pockets of fat, and uh, a pork loin is already pretty lean, so that's why we're going to shoot for 145 degrees internal temperature okay we coated the whole thing with mustard okay and then we seasoned it with one of my favorite rubs uh the barbecue rub from killer hogs love this stuff too this is fantastic this is one of my top five rubs also which i will be like i mentioned in the previous video i will be giving my top five barbecue rubs in the in one of the videos coming up soon okay so this has been uh seasoned for about 30 minutes or so, it's starting to pull some of the moisture out of the pork loin. So we're gonna hit it just a little bit more with some of the Killer Hogs D barbecue rub. And we're gonna get this bad boy on the smoker. Okay, so we're smoking at 225 degrees today because we don't wanna push it and we wanna get as much smoke flavor in the pork loin as possible. Okay, so let's get her on the Rec Tech. All right guys, let's see if we can go ahead and get this on here with very little problems. All right, we got her on there. Now we're gonna turn on our rotisserie motor. And we're gonna let her go. We'll come back and check her in about an hour and we'll see where we're at temperature wise. We're using uh, Kingsford Hickory pellets this time. All right guys, so our pork one has been on about an hour and a half. It's reached an internal temperature of 100 degrees. So I wanna go ahead and start uh, adding some moisture so we have just straight apple juice in our spritzer here and we're going to go ahead and spritz it to add a little moisture to our pork loin and to add a little bit of sweetness so let's go ahead and get it spritzed all right guys here's our pork loin it's looking real good we we'll go ahead and hit it with some with the apple juice as she goes around the rotisserie okay she's looking really good That D barbecue rub from Killer Hogs puts a great color on, on your meats. That's one of the reasons I like it. Plus, it tastes so good. Okay. All right, we'll come back and spritz it again in about 15 minutes. All right, guys. Sorry I couldn't show pulling the uh, pork loin off of the uh, rotisserie. We had some folks come by the house, so I had to sit down and talk to them, and I almost missed my target temp uh sitting down uh talking to uh my friend uh but we pulled this at 148 degrees so a little bit over 145 but i let it rest for about 20 minutes or so so it's sitting here there's some juice on the board here so i'll bring you closer we're gonna go ahead and slice this up take a look on the inside of it and we're going to have a taste test all right guys so here's our pork loin as you can see it got some juice on the board here so looks like it's moist as you can see we tied it off in about five different areas because it was kind of uh some areas was kind of flayed open from the butcher so we kind of tied it all together to make it one compact uh piece of meat so let's go ahead and cut this right in the middle I always get the dullest knife in the house i got all those dow strong knives and I always get grab the wrong knife so oh uh, this is nice and moist and juicy here wow that looks really really good let's give you a close-up look at that 
And as you guys can see, man, it's nice and moist. Got a nice, some nice fluid. There's the hole from the spit. It's got a nice smoke ring to it too. It smells really, really good. This is the slice that I'm gonna have the taste test with. And I'm cutting the string. So here's the twine that we use to tie up the pork loin. All right, let's go ahead and have a taste test. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut this slice into smaller pieces. It's really, really tender. Oh man, it smells fantastic. Smoky, it's juicy. All right, let's have a taste. Oh yeah, I cannot say enough about the barbecue rub from Killer Hogs. It is fantastic. It's just juicy. The flavor on the outside is fantastic. The smoke flavor is really, really good. There's one thing I think next time I do a pork loin that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the rub itself and I'm gonna mix it in with some apple juice, kind of make a injection. And I'm gonna inject it in the pork loin next time as well to give the interior the same type of flavor or make the flavor close to what's on the outside because the bark on the outside of the pork loin is fantastic. Even though the pork loin is nice and moist and smoky, it can use a little flavor on the inside. But this is great. You gotta have another piece. Wow, that's some good pork loin. So the rotisserie or the smoked tisserie did a fantastic job, okay? And like I said, you don't have to put this on the rotisserie. It's just fun. And I think that as the meat goes around on the rotisserie, it bases itself in its own juices. Plus, as we spritzed it with the apple juice, the apple juice stayed on the pork loin and based it along with the meats, the juices from the meat and made a fantastic flavor. OK, so like I said, the only thing that I would do different is I would inject it either with a little Tony's butter injection or some type of injection just to make the interior of the meat a little bit more flavorful. But this is really good. You can slice this up, use different sauces or whatever on top of your pork loin slices and you'll be just fine, okay? I'll be eating this for the next week or so. <laughs> so, well, uh, we will put the uh, information for the uh, rotisserie kit that we used and installed in the smoke in, in the pellet smoker down in the description block we bought it off of amazon and uh i'll put an i card up here if you guys want to check out our first video where i show the actual rotisserie kit without any food on it but that's about it hey if you guys are interested in a rec tech smoker of any type check out rectech.com fantastic customer service and fantastic grills okay also if you guys are interested in some bad beast barbecue merch or some recipes or product reviews Hey, check out our website, www.badbeastbarbecue.com. Hey, join our mailing list, okay? That way you'll get uh, notifications in your email when we have a new video come out or when we have a new recipe or something's posted or a new product is added to the store, okay? So, hey, check us out. So, hey, that's about it. Let me get inside before it starts getting dark. So, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.